Hi, I'm Lana Cooper, RN. I'm a master aesthetic injector at Fifty Shades Med Spa in Wiley, Texas. He's a bruiser like I am. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting a little bit of lidocaine along here so I can really get after this. Uh, so we have some topical numbing on. The press and seal just kind of presses the heat in, helps it absorb better. So now I'm gonna clean her forehead and get ready for treatment. And I have found that it's more comfortable if we clean the area, work, and clean the next one, work down, and keep the numbing on. By default, the radio frequency energy will actually also um, kill some of the hair growth as well. By not cleaning it all and doing it, you don't get a decrease in, in numbing effect as we work our way down. So I found this just by trial and error to kind of be the best method. So yeah, you don't get a lot of swelling. So so more for you to say, in most technologies, just top of the line. Traditionally, a lot of the rate of frequency microneedling, they get the heat hangs in the tissue and the energy longer, so you get a lot of trauma to the tissue, a lot of swelling. Um, some of them, I mean, the patients have to literally be sedated to take because it's so painful. So this is very tolerable. The swelling is minimal. You can always have what we call the little chicken skin, little stamp marks. Did you have little stamp marks on your neck? Yeah. So under eyes, thinnest skin on your body, then your neck, right? So sometimes those will linger a little bit longer, maybe, you know, a week or so. But usually, usually the next day or two, you're good. We might want to melt some of the fat cells, so if you want to really like snatch up a jawline, we can really get in there and do that. Or submental fat, where traditionally you can do chin lipo or you could do kybella, but those don't address skin tightening. This kind of handles both, so you can actually melt some fat and do skin tightening. We have some new post-treatment um, cream too, Revision came out with, that is the first neurocosmetic, and I am so excited about this. Um, before I went back to school for nursing, I don't know if I told you, I'm a biochemist, so I did lab research, and I decided that lab wasn't for me, so I went back to nursing school, because uh, I really wanted to be at bedside and, you know, see the patients. But, um, but Revision's technology is pretty cool, so it, it actually is a cream that has all the nutrients your skin needs post-treatment, but it, it blocks the signal. There's pain receptors in the cells in the skin, and so it blocks the receptors for pain and heat, so when we apply it after this treatment, she's gonna get a lot less erythema or redness. We lose 1% of collagen and elastin in our skin. Starting around age 18, we go down 1% every year of life, right? So if we did one treatment and we build up a little bit of collagen, we're always higher than when we started, right? Um, but normally we say, you know, if you wanna do maintenance, you maybe do another treatment once a year, to, you know, or another other modalities. You know, medical grade skincare is really important too because you want to, you know, like I always tell people I can, you know, even with injectables, I can freeze you up, snatch you up, and make you look really good if your skin doesn't look as good. But this helps with the skin too because it's building that collagen. The pores size will shrink significantly. She'll be tighter. All this kind of crepiness around the eyes will tighten up. But actually, we'll remodel around here, less jowling, um, and you'll feel nice kind of in tight and get that nice glow from the collagen building. You know, and for, for our Fitzpatrick too, our lighter skin, there's no, no need to pre-treat. We can get real aggressive. Um, as we get darker skin, we want to like pre-treat with either like a higher quinone blend or, you okay? Mm -hmm. That help a little bit? A lot. Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, in general, rule of thumb, if we're trying to, you know, skin tighten, we want to plan on a series of three treatments about a month apart in a perfect world, you know, financially and time and all that kind of stuff. Some people need a little more. Some people might just need a little bit less, but you know, in general, it's a good rule of thumb because you're hitting different dermal cycles. The skin cells turn over every month or so, right? So this is the new Neurocosmetic Post-Procedure Cream by uh, Revision. Um, and what it does is it actually gives pain control and less swelling. And there's not pain medicine in it. Um, the blend blocks the signal from the, the receptors in the skin cells that receive pain and, and heat si signals and then send that signal back to your brain saying, ooh, cause some swelling, we feel pain. It blocks that signal. So she'll get some immediate comfort relief and immediate decrease in the redness. And 
aside from sunscreen, this will be all you need. Like, so if they did an ablative laser or chemical peel, it had several days of downtime or whatever, they would just use this and then sunscreen. So really cool. The line of everything, they really search the world high and low for the right, right um, ingredients and blend, but pretty much any of their products are safe post-procedure. Zentella Shade, my favorite. I love Is it. that what I have at home? Correct. Mm -hmm. I love um, it. It's an anti-aging moisturizer and your sunscreen. It's all mineral. Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah.